I wasn't aware that we were we were finished. I thank the deputies who contributed. Um, just uh, to reiterate, um, that the intention is from government to give to devolve as much powers from the hands of the executive um, to the hands of elected people as possible. And um, I take on board, though, what uh, most of the speakers have said is maybe it would be better to focus on a few strategic ones first rather than going for the big bang approach. I think that there's some merit in that proposal. Um, if the plebiscites pass uh, and the roles work in the relevant local authorities, it is my absolute ambition that the head of each local authority in the country should be directly elected by the people. Um, uh, and to maybe go a bit further than um, uh, what Deputy O'Dowd said earlier about being the mayor, I think he was saying being the mayor of Drogheda, uh, Deputy Farrell, but um, uh, it should be a position that, that Oireachtas members or people who have been ministers or whatever would aspire to be, because, I mean, if it, it would be a powerful role, um, and a role in many respects, the happiest days that I ever had in my 20 years in, in politics were the, the, the four and a half years that I spent as a member of the Kilkenny County Council, actually doing things like um, Deputy Le Hart's roundabout and other matters uh, that are crucially important. I mean, he's right. Um, uh, an issue like that that might seem so um, small and mundane and almost trivial. Um, you know, the people who are concerned, it is the, it is the biggest issue affecting them uh, when they come in contact with their local representative. Um, Deputy Cassis was the first speaker. Um, he was very angry uh, today, um, but actually as he went further into his passionate, okay, well maybe I confused anger. And, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, you're consistent in your anger, <laughs> but I understand the passion as well. Um, on the issue of the AILG and, and the comment you made at the start, it, wasn't the, it was both representative groups, first meeting I had with them, about a, in the first month in the job, and, and it, it happened. Um, I couldn't believe it myself because I, was, I had a list of things that I wanted to, and I expected something similar. Um, I don't I mean, I hope I was clear enough in my uh, speech at the start. You said we'd be cutting people if we don't give directly elected mayors real real powers. I mean, you're right, we would be. Um, I, I don't want to cut people, and I want the directly elected mayors to have powers. We are going to have a difference, however, I, I believe, on the question of planning applications and uh, planning decisions. Uh, if the point that you're making is in relation to that kind of strategic planning for the future and that role, then I think that the directly elected mayor should uh, rightfully have a function in it. You did say that directly elected mayors should be signing off on planning applications. Um, and you kind of curtly uh, referred to um, what had happened in the years after the state was founded, clientelism and corruption in the early years of the state, and that we've matured and we're gone past it. Sadly, uh, the planning tribunal reports are not that long ago. Um, and I hope there is a time when maybe enough time has elapsed but I won't be supporting or proposing a situation where um, directly elected mayors are signing off on individual planning applications. Um, and perhaps, as I think it was Deputy O'Sullivan said, as the roles flesh out and into the future, maybe that we can arrive there. Uh, but I do think it would be wrong to start there. Um, no, but you, you said signing off on files. I didn't say one-off planning applications either. You said signing off on planning files, and that was the phrase that I wrote yeah, down. The um, yeah. yeah, I didn't. I didn't refer to one-off planning applications either, just to make that clear. Um, I do accept your point absolutely in relation to directors of services. Um, there's no point in divesting the, the chief executive role without doing something similar to, with the director of services. That's absolutely right. Um, however, um, you went on then further to talk about, you spoke about the, I'm not going to get involved in the specific case in Dublin. Um, I, you give out that Dublin was not included. Um, the reasons for Dublin non-inclusion are because it is different than the rest of the country. Um, 
and it is complicated by the fact that there are four local authorities. Where do we fit the directly elected mayor's piece into the rest? Deputy O'Brien said it was a good idea. He questioned how it would interact with the, the existing structure. I give a commitment to him and indeed to Deputy O'Sullivan, who spoke later, that um, once the government have considered the memo, we will come back. Um, I completely refute the argument, though, that somehow um, this will be a platform for personalities or sports people to be elected. The public will have the power to elect whoever they want. And if that's a sports person um, or a personality or a regular Joe or a business person or whatever, we cannot second guess. Um, and all, equally, Deputy O'Sullivan went into detail that the mayor should be someone from Limerick City. The mayor will be someone who the people of Limerick City and County elect, and that might be someone from Abbey Field. Now, you'd have to think, in terms of population distribution, it would be unlikely to be someone from Abbey Field. But um, I won't be, uh, be prescribing that it would have to be someone um, from, from the city who would be elected to hold the position. Deputy Wallace, just briefly to finish up, Karen Corla spoke about, he's right on the issue of groupthink, and it's never any harm for someone to say something different. Sometimes people might accuse Deputy Wallace of, of sometimes saying something different just for the sake of saying something different. I'd never do such a thing, but um, he's right about local government reform and the move to take some of the, the control in local government and give it to people who are directly elected, I believe is a substantial local government reform. He quoted Mr Blair, who he's not a fan of, uh, but interestingly referenced the fact that he thinks that local government in America works uh, and in Britain it doesn't work. Uh, he also referred to Angus, uh, the mascot in Hartlepool. Just like to inform the House that Angus was not a directly elected mayor with executive powers. He was directly elected, but he didn't have the executive powers. Um, Angus the monkey from Hartlepool. But, uh, Deputy Ryan um, welcomed the plebiscites. Again, expressed reservations about Dublin's exclusion. Um, he's absolutely right in his reference about the opportunity that exists in our regional cities to be to develop those city centres again, particularly um, in the case of brownfield sites that exist in many of those city centres. My own city in Kilkenny, the, the brewery site is, is to be redeveloped. All of the cities in our regions have those dockland sites. The one in the North Keys and Waterford is a very prominent one, but a huge city centre location that can bring business as well as people living uh, back into our city centres. I've never once when questioned Waterford is the capital of the South East and, and it will help the rest of the region. It's always been striking to me that the South East as a region lags economically behind the rest of the country despite having some uh, obvious advantages. Uh, part of it is the lack of coherence within it as a region, you know, if you compare it to the western part of the country in particular. He spoke in favour, Deputy Ryan, that is, of the NPF style bidding system for funding of projects at local level into the future. Um, and he too emphasised a focus on certain specific areas, transport, planning, enterprise, policing and education. One, my, one of my predecessors, uh, Commissioner Hogan, gets a lot of criticism about uh, his time as Minister. But he did bring the enterprise issue directly into the remit of local government through their local enterprise offices and that was a, a positive measure and one that has worked very well. Um, is my time up, by the way? Uh, it was up three minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think, look, at, I, I take on board what other members have said. Um, we, this will be decided within the next maybe two weeks. So myself and the officials will uh, consider every other contribution that has been made. I ran out of two pens uh, taking notes. Uh, there was so much was said, and I thank the, the members for their contribution.